A girl named Hallie arrives at a summer camp for girls, and she doesn't waste any time in making friends who sound really curious about Hallie staying in California. They ask her several questions about where she lives and if she sees Hollywood superstars regularly, but Hallie says she lives a simple life with her dad. She also says they have a vineyard and her dad is like her best friend. After she and her friends get their bags, they head to their room. A while later, another girl named Annie arrives at the same camp in an exotic car with her butler Martin, and he doesn't sound particularly impressed that they came all the way from London for a camp. However, Annie says she's sure it will be fine. After Martin checks that she has everything she needs with her, they do their signature greeting, and he tells Annie he'll see her in eight weeks when the camp closes. Later that day, Hallie participates in a fencing competition. She wins the round and is named the undisputed fencing champion in the camp. The instructor then asks if anyone would like to challenge Hallie. No one says anything until Annie shows up and says she'll try. She puts on her fencing kit, and the contest turns out to be a tough one as both girls are really good. After a while, Annie wins and knocks Hallie into a pool. Hallie doesn't like this, and as Annie tries to help her up, she drags her into the water too. Everyone laughs, and the instructor then asks them to shake hands after such a good contest. As the girls turn to shake hands, they realize that they look alike, and all the other kids are shocked to see this as well. Hallie starts wondering why everyone is looking at them, and Annie says it's because they look alike. Hallie still hasn't forgotten her defeat in the fencing contest, so she makes fun of Annie, saying they look nothing alike and she's the better looking one. Before they start fighting, the instructor stops them and dismisses everyone. That night, Annie is beating everyone in her room at poker. As her winning run continues, Hallie comes in and challenges her. Annie seems really confident and both of them agree that the loser would jump into the lake at night. After a while, Hallie wins, much to Annie's surprise. She jumps into the lake as planned, but Hallie runs away with her clothes as part of a prank on her. The next morning, Annie takes her revenge and puts Hallie's things on the roof. They continue to pick on each other, but Hallie seems to win the round after setting off booby traps in Annie's room, with two of the instructors also being victims. Because of this, Annie and Hallie are sent to the isolation cabin. While they're there, the girls continue to pick on each other. However, they soon become friends when Annie helps Hallie close the windows, when the wind starts blowing strongly. At this point, they start talking about where they're from. While Hallie says she lives with her dad, Annie responds that she stays with her mom. They discover that they both have divorced parents, and as they continue talking, they also shockingly find out they have the same birthday. The girls think it's a really interesting coincidence, but they just continue talking. Shortly after, while Hallie is outside, Annie asks what Hallie's mother looks like. Hallie says she never met her, but her dad gave her a picture. Interestingly, Annie has also never met her dad, and she only has a picture that was ripped down the middle. Hallie realizes that her picture is just like that, and as they soon take it out to show each other, they discover that they have the same parents and are twins. The girls also notice that they've got identical lockets and they hug each other. That night, while the girls talk about how their parents have not tried to get married again since they divorced, Hallie thinks of an interesting idea. She tells Annie that instead of returning to their respective homes, they can switch places. Hallie says she's desperate to see what their mom looks like in person, and since Annie also feels the same way about their dad, they can do it secretly. She also says they must do it to bring their parents together because they would have to meet again when they switch the kids. Even though her plan sounds risky, Annie agrees, and they decide to start teaching each other things about each parent and their different habits so that she can look like Hallie. Annie also has to cut her hair and pierce her ears. Hallie also learns Annie's British accent and other things about Martin and their grandfather, who lives with their mom, Elizabeth. The girls learn so much about each other, and on the closing day of camp, they agree to stay in touch and also pick the perfect time to set up the switch so that their parents can meet again. With this, Hallie leaves the camp in Annie's ride and heads to the airport. When she gets to the airport, she sees Martin, who looks excited, thinking it's Annie. Hallie also seems to have learned their signature greeting, and she does it with Martin. He instantly notices that her hair is short and she looks different, but Hallie says she just decided to try out a new look. They soon head home, and as Hallie gets there, she can't wait to see her mom, Elizabeth. As she enters the house and looks around, she sees her grandfather and hugs him tightly, saying she has missed him for so long. Just then, Elizabeth calls for her daughter, and as Hallie sees her, she immediately runs to hug her, saying she has waited so long to see her. She also starts crying, and when Elizabeth asks what's wrong, Hallie says she has missed her mom so much. 
Elizabeth also notices her short hair and ear piercings, but Hallie says she decided to try something new. A while later, Elizabeth and Hallie start catching up about how good the camp was. The phone soon rings, and after Elizabeth answers it, she asks if Hallie would like to follow her to work, and Hallie looks happy to tag along. As they get to Elizabeth's shop, Hallie sees that she's a fashion designer. She also sees a lovely wedding gown and asks if Elizabeth designed it. When she says she did, Hallie can't believe how talented her mom is. Hallie also mentions that the gown would look good on Elizabeth, who laughs it off. After a fun day that sees Hallie feature in a photo shoot at Elizabeth's shop, they head home. On their way, Hallie asks about her father, and Elizabeth is shocked by how sudden her daughter is asking for her father. Hallie also asks how they met and why they left each other. Elizabeth says they didn't have enough time for each other, and because of this, they decided to call things off. As Hallie asks more questions, Elizabeth says she knew a day like that would come, and she's finally ready to let her daughter know all she wants about her dad. Elsewhere, Annie also arrives in California and meets her dad, Nick, who comes to pick her up at the airport. She's very happy to see him, and after hugging him tightly, they head into the car to leave for home. While on their way, Nick notices that his daughter's choice of words has suddenly changed, and she's now speaking like a proper English girl. Annie immediately says it's nothing serious, and she learned it at the camp. Nick also asks why she keeps saying dad after every sentence, and Annie first says she has been waiting to say it for a long time, though she corrects herself and says she missed calling him dad for the eight weeks in camp. Nick finds this funny, and they soon get home. There, Annie meets Hallie's nanny, Chessie, who immediately notices that Annie is really quiet. She also says she feels there's something different about Annie, but she can't just point it out yet. To make things even more interesting, Chessie looks shocked as Hallie's dog barks at Annie, whose role as Hallie is currently looking harder than she thought. When they're inside the house, Nick tells Annie that if she's through with unpacking her load, he wants her to meet someone. Just then, Annie sees a lady having a drink with Nick. As she's unpacking, she asks Chessie about the lady. Chessie says the lady's name is Meredith, and she's a publicist who Nick hired to help build a strong presence for his business. Chessie, however, says Meredith has been trying to get closer to Nick, and she might not be up to any good. Later that day, Nick introduces Annie to Meredith. Annie tries her best to intimidate Meredith, but she doesn't fall for it. When Nick leaves the ladies together, Annie also tries to tell Meredith that Nick doesn't like her, and he has a lot of girlfriends. Meredith realizes what Annie is trying to do, but again, she ignores it. When Annie goes back into the house, she calls Hallie, who hides to take the call. Annie tells Hallie about Meredith and tells her they need to speed up their plan. Hallie says she's not ready because she's still just getting to know Elizabeth. Annie tries to convince her, but Hallie then fakes a network problem and ends the call. When she comes out, Martin, Elizabeth, and her grandfather see her. She immediately lies that secretly talking to someone on the phone was one of the things she was taught at the camp. Even though it seems hard to believe, they don't question her further. Meanwhile, Chessie also asks Annie about the secret call, but she makes up a good excuse for it. Later that day, when Annie and Nick go for a walk, she asks about her mother. Nick is shocked to hear the question, and just as he asks why she wants to know, Meredith arrives with her assistant, Richard. Meredith asks if Nick has already told Annie about their upcoming wedding, but he says he's almost there and he's trying to slowly bring it up. After telling Nick they'll see each other again during lunch, she leaves with Richard. As they leave, Meredith tells Richard that the first thing she'll do after getting married to Nick will be to send Annie to a boarding school. It also turns out that Richard is her real partner, and they're working together to make some money off Nick. A while later, Nick takes Annie to see his vineyard. When they get there, he starts talking about Meredith and asks what Annie thinks about her. Annie says she doesn't have an opinion and leaves quickly on her horse. As she gets home, Annie starts lamenting about Meredith potentially ruining her plans to bring her parents together. Surprisingly, Chessie hears everything and asks for an explanation. Annie confesses that she's not Hallie, and Chessie gets emotional and asks Annie for a hug. Nick comes in and looks surprised to see Chessie crying. Chessie says nothing is wrong, and as she says she's going to prepare a wonderful dish for Annie, Nick tells Annie that he wants to marry Meredith. Annie starts yelling in French, and as Nick looks shocked, she immediately tells him she learned it while in camp. Annie then tells Nick he can't get married to Meredith, after which she runs out of the house. Meredith soon returns to the house, and Nick tells her that Annie didn't take the news well. 
She tells Nick that she'll try to convince Annie, but when she goes to meet Annie, she doesn't like how Nick's daughter keeps insisting that she doesn't love Nick. Annie also says she knows Meredith wants Nick's money, but Meredith gets angry and says nothing can stop her from getting married to Nick. She also warns Annie to stop trying to get her to leave Nick. Shortly after, Annie sends a fax to Hallie, containing a warning that things are not going well on her end. Martin is the one who sees it, but as he takes it to get it trashed because he doesn't understand it, Hallie sees it and immediately leaves the house to call Annie. Annie explains what's happening and tells Hallie to inform Elizabeth about their plan before Nick gets married. Hallie says she'll do it, but as she ends the call, her grandfather happens to have heard the entire conversation and he asks her for an explanation. She tells him everything and that night, he encourages her to tell Elizabeth before it's too late. Despite being shy about it, Hallie tells Elizabeth, who is shocked to hear that. She, however, looks happy to see Hallie and tells her that she and Nick decided to separate the children as part of the divorce. Hallie tells Elizabeth that Nick wants to see her and they have to leave for California. Elizabeth suddenly gets nervous, and even as she packs her things, she struggles to decide what to wear because she still likes Nick and wants to look good. Elizabeth and Hallie leave London with Martin, and they arrive at a hotel, which also happens to be where Nick, Meredith, and Annie are checking out for the wedding. As Elizabeth tries to locate her room, she sees Nick and realizes he wasn't expecting her. She immediately starts looking for Hallie and sees her together with Annie and Chessie. Elizabeth complains that they set her up to see Nick, and the girls confess that they needed him to see her because that's the only way he won't marry Meredith. Elizabeth doesn't sound interested, and she says the girls need to tell Nick that she came to switch them back. She then leaves for the restaurant, and while she's there, Meredith also gets there. After a while, Meredith recognizes Elizabeth as a celebrity wedding dress designer. She starts talking about how she wants Elizabeth to design her wedding gown, and Elizabeth agrees, not knowing who she is. Later that day, Nick starts going around the hotel to look for Elizabeth. He even falls into a pool but sees her as he gets out. Before they can catch up, Hallie and Annie show up to tell them about how they planned everything from when they met at the summer camp. Just then, Elizabeth tells them to give Nick and her some time to talk. As they're alone, Meredith also shows up and looks shocked to see her wedding gown designer with her fiancé. Before Nick can explain, Hallie and Annie return and tell her that they're actually twins and Elizabeth is their mother. Meredith doesn't take this well, but she pretends to be cool with it. That night, Hallie and Annie set up a dinner for their parents at the yacht they first met. When Elizabeth asks how they could afford it, the girls say they got some help from their grandfather. During their reunion dinner, Nick and Elizabeth still seem to like each other. Nick then asks why Elizabeth left him, and she says a part of her expected him to stop her. Nick says he didn't know she wanted that, but Elizabeth says it doesn't matter, and they can forget about coming back together, because he now has someone else. The next day, Nick and Elizabeth prepare to leave the hotel and go their separate ways with the kids. However, Annie and Hallie refuse to go with them unless they go on a camping trip together as a family. Their parents have no choice and they decide to do it. However, at the last minute, Elizabeth tells Meredith to replace her on the trip. The girls are not happy with this, but she says it's best Meredith goes with them because she's the one who is getting married to Nick. The camping trip doesn't go too well for Meredith, with the girls making sure she gets frustrated. That night, they push her bed into the lake while she's sleeping, and she gets really angry when she sees what they've done. Meredith tells Nick that he has to choose between her and the girls, and Nick doesn't hesitate in picking his daughters. Meredith leaves angrily, and Nick also returns home with the girls. That night, he takes Elizabeth to the basement and tells her he wants them to get back together. However, she doesn't think it will work out. The next morning, Elizabeth leaves with Annie and heads back to London. When they get home, Elizabeth is shocked to see Hallie in the house. Hallie says she and Nick took a very fast plane that reached London in half the normal time. As Elizabeth then faces Nick and talks about how she doesn't like the idea of splitting their kids, Nick says he couldn't miss the chance to come back to get her after he made the mistake when they first left each other. The girls look really happy to see this as they believe they made it happen. And not long after, Nick and Elizabeth get married again. Thanks for tuning in. A thumbs up would be amazing because I've got some bills to pay. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right?